Hello everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's video, we are going to be building a sugarcane factory, better late than never I guess, so that we can have all of the sugarcane we could ever want in this world. So if you are excited for that, then go ahead and grab your favorite snack and let's jump right in. So I have been busy in between episodes and look at the storeroom. I love how this turned out. It definitely took a very long time to make all of this wine to fill all of these little wine storage things. And unfortunately, you can't place bottles in this bottom section, which is so annoying, but you just can't do it. And I also play some crates and little chests as well. Someone commented that we should name the tavern Neptune's Tavern because of course we have a little Neptune over there in the stool. And that is literally perfect. So of course I had to name this tavern Neptune's Tavern. What if we dyed it white? What would that look like? Am I going to regret this decision? Yes, I am. I like it black better. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I actually removed the immersive weathering mod because it's so annoying. That is the mod that has weeds literally everywhere all the time. And it's the mod that has the leaves. And honestly, I don't think I've liked a single thing about that mod. So I just went ahead and removed it so that we didn't have to deal with, oh, hello, come on villagers. You don't need to just be down here in this hole. Why are you all just standing there? Get out. Oh, yay, he got out. Okay, now it's just your turn. You can do it. Come on, get out. I guess he just lives in this hole now. Anyways, so as you saw, there were lots of holes in the town square. So I assume that they were blocks within the immersive weathering pack. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of damage to our world, but I think it's going to pay off eventually. Right now we're going to have to fix a lot of things, but I'm also going to be so, so happy. Oh my gosh. Was this all immersive weathering? I think it was. Well, yeah, we have a lot to fix, but I literally hate the weeds. I don't like the soot that spreads in the tavern. There's just so many things about the mod that I just don't like. So I just thought it was time to get rid of it. And also I know I've mentioned this before, but all of the flowers that are spreading everywhere, I hope that was the immersive weathering mod that did that because I'm so sick of flowers literally everywhere in our world. So hopefully now that the mod is gone, the flowers will stop spreading. And yeah, there's lots of blocks that are just empty because they were like snowy cobblestone blocks and they would stay snowy cobblestone forever, even in summertime. It was just so annoying. But our farms no longer have weeds in them, which is absolutely lovely. There's not leaves everywhere. And then the leaf piles turn the dirt into hummus or whatever it is. And just... I'm, I hate everything about that mod. I do have one more thing that I want to show you that we did in between episodes. So I made these little like vine stems and you can plant the bushes directly onto those stems and then they grow and spread out into these like bushy grapevine leaves and you can harvest them and it's just so nice. So I'm so glad that we did this and we gave the vineyard a little makeover. So we did all of those uh, small little projects on stream and now i want to make a little straw hat for myself because i'm pretty sure that if i equipped a straw hat whenever i use bone meal the bone meal won't be consumed so i can just infinitely use bone meal which would be so cool so i need a little bit of wheat and i really should probably organize all these cupboards because they're so messy i've just gotten it very unorganized in this world but if i place two pieces of wheat and one red wool we'll get ourselves a straw hat and it says bone meal won't get consumed anymore oh oh that is for the full set bonus okay so we also need to get the vine maker apron vine maker leggings and then the boots so for the apron we need some red wool and some gloves Oh, a rarely found crafting ingredient. Oh, so this isn't going to be easy, I see. I mean, it makes sense that it wouldn't be easy because that is such a cool skill. Well, I have no idea how we're going to be able to find those, which is so sad. Uh, so if you know where I can find gloves, then definitely let me know. I mean, but we can still look cute in our little straw hat. Anyways, moving on to today's project, I guess, since we can't make 
that little armor set, but I would like it to work on a little sugarcane factory today because I want to fight the dragon and get an elytra because I feel like we're kind of held back just a little bit because we don't have great armor. So whenever it comes to exploring things, it's very, very dangerous. And you saw my Woodland Mansion video, like it did not go well. So whenever I do get an elytra, I want to use the elytra like immediately. I don't want to just get it and then not be able to use it. So that's why we are making the sugarcane factory so that we are able to have at least one crafting ingredient for rockets. And then next we'll focus on getting gunpowder and then fighting the dragon and also the and has lots of cool additional content. So I want to be able to explore that and I can't until I actually get to the end. Oh, and look, do you see that no leaves fell down because I took away immersive weathering? Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, that is a big spruce tree, isn't it? But it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. Honestly, that's the best thing I ever did. I was really, really starting to hate it. But I just needed to collect a little bit of spruce wood and dark oak wood and then also some azalea wood and then some of this swamp cypress wood. This one wood type is kind of like an orangey color and it just goes so well with the azalea wood. So here is the azalea wood and don't those just go so well together? I love that combination. And then of course we'll have a bit of stripped spruce log. Of course we always have to strip it and then some dark oak wood. And that's just, I love that color combination. It looks so cool. So now I just need to collect a bunch of wood and while I'm at it, I guess I'll go ahead and get together the rest of the materials for the build. Everything is pretty snowy now, but I did gather lots of materials for our sugarcane factory. So we have lots of redstone goodies and then of course some wood stuff. Now I'm going to be building the sugarcane factory up here on top of this hill. So I just need to flatten out the land a little bit more. Also, I went on a little side adventure to get some sand and just walking around my world, I realized how broken a lot of things are now that I don't have immersive weathering in. So like, yes, it fixed some of the things I hate, but it also broke a lot of things. So it's kind of just like, which evil do I want to choose, you know? So I might end up putting it back in. I might not. I'm just not sure what I want to do right now. So I want to start getting in some of the redstone with you all and also just the outline of the build a little bit. As you know, redstone isn't really my thing. So this is going to be a bit of a process trying to get all of this in, but I think that once I get it in, then you know, it'll be pretty easy from there. Also, I was trying to find a method to do this without rails, and I know that you can kind of do it with mud. However, uh, for some reason in Better Minecraft, mud dries and you can't plant sherry cane on dry mud. And also with the dry mud, you are not able to like actually pick up items with it if that makes sense. So overall, the mud method just doesn't work, unfortunately. I just need to dig myself out of this little hole that I created, but I think that the hopper minecart system is set up now. And I'm probably going to need so many more of these cypress logs because I'm going to be using a lot of them for this build. Also, another thing, I'm going to need lots of water for this build, but it is winter and water freezes, so I can't just make your typical infinite water source. So I'm just going to make a temporary well, I think. Oh, I literally didn't even notice. Okay. I literally hate pillagers with a burning passion. I hate them so much. They're so annoying. Okay, let's get this over with. Anyways, and now we can use the well as a proper little well. Now we just need to place a row of stripped cypress logs. And then a row of pistons. And finally, a row of observers. We'll have to also place some redstone too. So we'll place it on some stripped cypress logs. And then just place it like so. And that pretty much does it, honestly, for the sugarcane farm. Very easy. These farms are typically pretty simple. In between the cypress logs, I'm going to be placing some of the azalea planks. I love this shade of pink. It's so peachy pink, you know? And then we'll go up with the cypress logs. Of course, I need to get the sugarcane in and then the minecart. 
though my cards are very loud and annoying so I'll probably do the minecart later. And then we're just going to repeat this same setup over here on this side and then another one over here and then another one back here. So we'll repeat that same thing three more times. And I know it's not going to be that profitable, but it's going to be better than what we have right now, which is nothing. And then we had to do a bit more work to hide the redstone bits, but I have that all played out. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get this sugarcane factory in. I love this build so much. I think it turned out so good and I'm so proud of myself for being able to hide all the redstone like I did. So on the inside, I think it turned out very warm and cozy. I put these cyan carpets down. Let me know what you think about them. And then I have a little bit of hidden light under them as well. But I think the cyan and then the pink kind of goes well together. At least I think so. Let me know if it looks bad though. And I have yet to put the minecarts in, but we will do that together. And as we can see, the farm is working. So again, just like super, super happy with it. It's just so cool and I need to fix that part. I just wanted to connect it a little bit better with the land so we don't just have like an awkward line there. Much better. And then also these leaves didn't decay for some odd reason. So I'm going to have to pillar up there and get rid of all of the leaves. Oh, there's one block right there. Okay, there it goes. So like I was saying, I need to get these mine carts in here, which could be very interesting. I don't know how I'm going to go about it, honestly. And I don't have a trapdoor with me, but I'll just take this one. So if we place it here, oh, it just starts to go by itself. Okay, that's kind of cool. So maybe if you place it on the redstone block, it'll just go. Is that how that works? Okay, but this literally works so much better than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to have to use a trapdoor and it was going to be weird and confusing, but no, it works. And do we have sugarcane? No. Okay, well, I think we will have sugarcane though. Maybe that stuff despawned. And there's the next one and the last one. Also, if I was really smart, then I would have connected like this one and this one and then this one and this one. So we didn't have to have four separate minecarts going, but you know, like I, I didn't do that, so this will have to work. Next, I would like to plant some sugarcane here on this hill, I think, because I just don't think that this little farm is gonna cut it honestly with how much sugarcane we will want. So I'm just going to do some little stone walls like we usually do. I also think this wall sections off this ravine really nicely. I think it could be really cool to add a wall on the other side too, just so that we have something retaining the ravine, you know? Now we have to plant the sugarcane in here, and since we have to work worry about the water freezing, I think that I will probably cover it in a slab. And then from here, I think I can just like go around it and plant the sugar cane. And I'm thinking about doing it in one of those checkerboard patterns because I'm pretty sure that's the fastest way that sugar cane grows. At least that's what I've seen people talk about. So that's how we're going to do it. Sugar cane grows so slow and automatic sugar cane farms are really slow because of that. And they just don't produce that much, honestly. So it'll be nice to have something automatic, but also I do want this manual option because I want this to be enough sugar cane Oh, it just went. But I want this to be enough sugarcane to last us for our entire world. I also forgot that another way to prevent water from freezing is you can actually just light up the water sources, right? And then that way the water won't freeze. But we'll just do it this slab way, but that's good to know in the future. For example, our poor little rice farm is always iced over because I still have yet to spread it all the way out. So the bits that don't have rice in it are currently ice. Ooh, five pieces of sugar cane. Ooh, five here too. Good, good. Six. And then none there yet. That's pretty good, actually. More than I was expecting. I don't have high hopes for this, if you can't tell. And then here is the manual sugarcane farm. It's not finished quite yet, but it will be soon. Now I just want to connect this path over to the sugarcane farm. But like, it's winter. So I wonder if I should just wait until after winter, honestly, just because you can't even see anything anyways. And I would have to get rid of all of the snow and then put the path in. So 
Maybe we wait, actually. But I will go get some bushes, even though that they'll be dead, but it's the thought that counts. I wish there was a too tall blue flower because I think that would look so cool. But I guess I'll just try these Japanese orchids and then maybe the tall allium and maybe this one too. Ooh, seven days left till spring. That's so exciting. I'm so ready. Maybe we could sprinkle a bunch of sweet berry bushes around this hill. I think that could look super cool. So we have a little sweet berry hill. Once all of these are grown up, it's going to look so cool cool, isn't it? Just such a nice pop of color. Now, which flower do we want to choose? Of course, we could choose a couple, but I just want to see our options. I want to use this one so bad because it's so unique, but also it's, I don't know, something about it's just a little bit awkward. And this one is so busy, it kind of hurts my eyes. So maybe let's try these and maybe we can sprinkle some bushes around them too. They are dead bushes, but they are bushes nonetheless. Do you kind of see my vision? Whenever the leaves are green, it's gonna look really cool, but right now it's just such a weird contrast. I feel like whenever it's winter in Better Minecraft, I'm so grumpy about modern Minecraft just because I really don't like the winter. I also want to sprinkle around a bunch of these tulips. Maybe we can put some tulips on our berry bush hill too. See, isn't this just so cute? And imagine it when the snow is melted, it'll look even better, I think. We also have a lot of this wild asparagus right here. We should probably plant that at some point, honestly. We are farmers after all. But what do you think about the build? I think it's such a nice addition to our base and I'm so happy to finally have a reliable source of sugar cane it's been too long honestly and i was a little worried that these weren't going to grow because they were out in the open and it's winter but they are growing so that's awesome and once they're all fully grown we can just come in here and just shear them all down and it'll be great let's take one little peek at our sugarcane farm and see if it's produced any more two none in there none in here yet and then six in there so if i hang out around the sugarcane farm we're definitely going to have lots of sugarcane but with that i think i'm going to wrap this episode up here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Now we are one step closer to being able to fight this dragon, which I'm so excited about. So if you haven't already, then be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.